I've previously created a failover cluster, added in storage, and then a server role. But we also need to have something called quorum by using a disk witness. What we have are two different server nodes in the failover cluster. If one server node goes down, then the other server node is supposed to pick up any slack of any roles that we see here. However, it's possible that one server node may not even realize that the other server node is down due to some malfunction. So we want to make sure that we have what's called a disk witness because we have to have a quorum vote. Another problem that occasionally happens is that you have two servers that are currently up but can't reach each other, and so they both think they're in charge. Another good reason to have a quorum vote. A quorum vote will break a tie. Right now, each of the server nodes get one vote. That means that you could have a tie and the servers would not be able to decide who's in charge. So what I'm going to do is click on my cluster, right-click, and choose More Actions. And inside More Actions, I'll choose Configure Cluster Quorum Settings. Now I have multiple different options for this particular witness to decide who's going to be in charge. Here we can choose the Select the Quorum Witness, click Next. I can choose to configure a disk witness, a file share witness, or a cloud witness. Or I can just decide to not have a witness at all. If you choose a cloud witness, you'll need to have some cloud storage, say at Azure, in order to have that witness work. A witness only needs to be a one megabyte file, so it doesn't have to be a whole lot. I'll click Next, and now I need to put in the file share path. So I have to have a file share on some location in order to connect to this to be a witness. So now I'm going to put in the file share path. So I'm going to browse to my server where I've set up a shared folder. And check the name. And now you can see a shared folder I created called Witness. So I'll choose that, click Next, Next, and now it's completed. You don't want to create the file share on either one of the server nodes because it won't allow you to do that. And that's because if either of the nodes goes down with that disk witness on it, then you lose the ability to have that vote. Once the disk witness is set up, you now have three votes, so you're always guaranteed to not have a tie. And that is how we set up a disk witness for a quorum vote in a failover cluster on a Windows 2022 server.